All right, we're on day two of Jeff Plays for Charity 2021. Uh, I decided to pivot a little bit and actually not take on fundraising for 30 charities. <laughs> That's a little nuts. So, uh, anyways, I'm gonna do four week. Or, or sorry, I'm gonna do four in the month, one each week. I am going to do Wheeler Mission first, Julian second, Julian Center second. Um, in the homelessness.org uh, third and then the Salvation Army fourth so the overarching theme is to help people fight homelessness and also uh, domestic abuse situations and things like that so anyways I have a book it is the power of positive thinking this book was given to me by my aunt Kim and with inside of it she put a um I guess a subscription, can't even say that right, uh, she transcribed or I don't know what I'm trying to say, but anyways, she put this little, she put this little uh, story inside and also uh, signed it, so I'm going to read this story and then um, also her quote at the bottom, but um, here we go, and I got to apologize that I say um a lot. And I am, um, sorry about that. <laughs> All right, here we go. The story, it's a little parable or lesson to learn from. It's called Shake It Off and Step Up. You guys might have heard this before, but it's still worth uh, doing it. Sometimes it gets a little abbreviated. I like this version. It's by Eugene Williams and Joe Walters. A parable is told of a farmer who owned a mule. The mule fell into the farmer's well. The farmer heard the mule brain, or whatever mules do when they fall into wells. After carefully assessing the situation, the farmer sympathized with the mule, but decided that neither the mule nor the well was worth the trouble of saving. Instead, he called his neighbors together and told them what had to happen, and enlisted them to help haul dirt to bury the old mule in the well and put him out of his, miser his misery. Initially, the old mule was hysterical. But as the farmer and his neighbors continued shoveling and the dirt hit his back, a thought struck him. It suddenly dawned on him that every time a shovel load of dirt landed on his back, he should shake it off and step up. This he did, blow after blow. Shake it off and step up. Shake it off and step up. Shake it off and step up. He repeated to encourage himself. No matter how painful the blows or distressing the situation seemed, the old mule fought panic and just kept right on shaking it off and stepping up. You're right. It wasn't long before the old mule battered and exhausted stepped triumphantly over the wall of that well. What seemed like it, what seemed like it would bury him actually blessed him. All because of the manner in which he handled his adversity. That's life. If we face our problems and respond to them positively and we refuse to give in to panic, bitterness, or self-pity, the adversities that come along to bury us usually have within them the potential to benefit and bless us. Remember that forgiveness, faith, prayer, praise, and hope are all excellent ways to shake it off and step up out of the wells in which we find ourselves. And then at the end it says, Jeff, no matter, or Jeff, not much in life is easy, but very little is impossible. Love, Aunt Kim, June tenth, two thousand one. So I just thought that was cool. I love this book. It's actually a really great book, worth the reading. Um, I read. I was going through some tough times, uh, battling um, depression and some other things at the time, and. Uh, you know, that book really helped me in a lot of ways and it still does to this day. So anyways, um, uh, the, <laughs> the focus, uh, for today is to raise money for Wheeler Mission. And, um, to that point, um, I decided that, um, for the sake of, uh, of, uh, naming, there we go with the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the the person the gentleman that is that we see often 
I'm going to call him Joe. It's not his real name, but for sake of uh, um, illustration, we're going to call him Joe. So if you could, um, I haven't seen Joe for a little bit, um, but if you could uh, just keep him in your prayers. Um, we, we do actually, uh, my wife Ann and I actually do kind of get excited when we see him. Uh, just for the simple fact that we know he is alive, maybe not well, but he's still alive. So, um, uh, really hope, I don't know the gentleman's situation at all, honestly. I, I really am not too intimate with the details other than, um, uh, what we see, um, and, uh, just that he's pain handling, things like that. He's in some sort of need, obviously. So anyways, without further ado from that, I am going to play another bit of a composition that I made. Um, this was during the time frame of maybe, I don't know, 20 years ago, 2001, 2002, somewhere in there. It's just a chord progression. It's nothing really crazy, um, but it's something that... I used to play and kind of mess around with the dynamics of things like that. So I'm going to try to reproduce uh, some of that. So here we go.
All right, I think I did a uh, right job on that one, maybe kind of, sort of. But uh, anyways, um, that will be the NFT that I create from this one to raise money for charity. And so, anyways, bonus time. What that means is I still feel like playing. So um, I'm not done yet with y'all. So, um, but what, but what, but what? All right, so I need to practice a lot more, but uh, I got this thing. Uh, my brother, uh, Justin, and I used to play this. Um, I started it, and he kind of uh, uh, wanted he, he wanted to learn how to play it, too, so he got pretty good at it himself. But it's, I can't really play the whole thing, but it's um, the... Um, uh, it's by Bach. It's the... I want to say Baroque, but that's not right. That's a style. Beret. Box Beret. So, anyways, I'm going to go back and probably learn this one. And if possible, maybe make an NFT out of this. But here we go. Uh, maybe I can't because I'm nervous. I, I'm rusty at this anyway, so... Come back to that one. <laughs> All right, here's another simple one. Um, That one's uh, probably played poorly. It doesn't sound quite in time, but uh, it's uh, knocking on heaven's door. I wish I could sing. Hey guys, uh, sorry about the cut there. I don't know what happened. Anyways, uh, thank you very much for listening. I really appreciate it. Have a great day, and uh, we'll see you again next time, okay? Thank you.